Yes? Evening, sir. I'm here for Miss Sandy Hogan. I'm Leon Morton. I'm, I'm Sandy's date. Oh. Well, I'm, uh, I'm Sandy's brother, Mike. Uh, come on in. Uh, this is my son, David. Pleasure to meet you, son. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Sandy will be out in a minute. Would you like to have a seat? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, that's a rather uh, unusual outfit. Oh, I'm in show business. I get it. You're an Elvis impersonator. Uh, no, son. I'm an Elvis invoker. How's that? Well, you see, an impersonator, he's trying to be somebody else. And I, I, I'm not trying to be the king. Uh, folks like me, we're just trying to keep the legend alive. Well, that's very noble. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, do you always, uh, walk around like this? Oh, no, sir. That, I reckon that'd make me a weirdo. <laughs> well, you see, I have a performance tonight, and the way I prepare for it is to invoke the spirit of the king. Invoke? Oh, yes, sir. I, I start invoking around noon, sir. And then five minutes before showtime, I let the spirit of the king enter into me. Uh-huh. I thought I heard the door. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sandy Hogan. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Leon Morton. <laughs> Leon's an Elvis invoker. <laughs> okay. I gotta admit, ma'am, seeing you in person is a relief. You know how blind dates can be. <laughs> uh, if you'll excuse me, I just have to go back in the kitchen for just a minute. I'm gonna go see if she needs a hand. <laughs> I imagine you must get a lot of kidding. About what? Okay, I'm just gonna go back in there and calmly tell Leon that I would love to go out, but my appendix just ruptured. Sandy, it's not that bad. Not that bad? No. For God's sake, David, that man's an Elvis impersonator. Invoker. Besides, it could be worse, right? Only if he were dressed as Carol Channing. <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, if I was in your situation, what would you tell me to do? Well, let's see. <laughs> I'd probably say, this is just another night out of your life. And who knows, it might even turn out to be fun. Well, there you go. Why don't you just follow that advice? Because that's the kind of horse pucky you can hand a kid. <laughs> well, what's the problem? Don't you like Elvis? Huh? David, 
Nobody loves Elvis more than I do. Well, maybe Leon. <laughs> you know what? You just want me to go so you could be home alone with Courtney. Go on, admit it. I want you to go so I can be home alone with Courtney. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Now, this is the last time I take your advice, even if it came from me in the first place. Well, thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Sandy, did you realize that although Elvis sold nearly a million copies of blue suede shoes, he never owned a pair? No, Mike, I, I didn't. Yeah, most people don't. Well. Well, hey, look, I got to get going. It was nice to meet you, Leon. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> hey, look, have a good time. Uh, as a matter of fact, ma'am, we should be going, too. I have a show to do in about an hour. Okay, just uh, let me grab my coat. Maybe a hat with a large brim. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you know, you guys look really good together. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, Leon, there's a pink Cadillac blocking the driveway. That's probably mine. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have somebody very special sitting in our audience tonight, and I'd like to dedicate this next number to her. Are you lonesome? Leon? I'll be out in a minute. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What'd you say? Uh, nothing. Um, I can't believe how much I enjoyed your show tonight. You, you have a terrific voice. I'm glad I came. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. That's okay. What? No, you just look different. Leon, I think I owe you an apology. For what? Well, when I heard that you were an Elvis in person invoker, uh, I thought to myself, this guy's got to be a little... Bizarre? Mm. If I could have thought of an excuse, I got to tell you, I never would have come. And that would have been my loss. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Well, this is a strange gig. <laughs> And I get a little intense before I perform. But the audience loves you. You have a real gift. Thanks, that's nice to hear. Um, do you ever... Never mind. What? Do you ever get tired of doing Elvis? I mean, being someone else all the time. Well, for years I dreamed of making it big, doing my own stuff. I wanted to be the next Bob Dylan or Bruce Springsteen, but then I decided Leon Morton deserves the finer things in life. Like three meals a day. Yeah, but I mean, do you regret giving it up, that dream? I still write music. But as Elvis, I'm on stage every night, and I sing songs I love. And the audience goes crazy. Mm -hmm. So I didn't give up my dream. I just changed a little. Well, can I drive you home, or would you like to go have a late supper? Don't be cruel. <laughs> you know what? Supper would be really nice. Good. We'll go find us a meal fit for a... Oh, we'll just go find a nice restaurant. 